copperhead shark, which died after it was caught in a gillnet in Hopkins waters. Villagers reported that the shark was spotted circling in the shallow waters before it was caught. The photos, which were uploaded to Facebook on Sunday, caught the attention of conservationists. Uh, we contacted the person that posted the photos. And according to him, an eight-foot scalloped hammerhead was landed by a fisherman from Hopkins in a gillnet just on the north side of Hopkins Village in very shallow water. By the time he hauled up the net, the shark had already drowned and he brought the animal to shore and that's how the photos were taken. In Belize, a variety of marine life has always been touted as a tourism attraction, particularly for divers. But marine life, like the scalloped hammerhead, does not enjoy protected status in Belize. Although across the world, it is already listed as an endangered, going into extinction species. Within the last couple decades of the population of the species, it has been on the decline. Here at home, many divers now say that it is a rare treat to see a scalloped hammerhead. For sharks, like the hammerhead, to die as a result of gillnet is simply unacceptable. Especially considering that the move to put a ban on gillnet, called for by fishermen, has been on the table for over a decade. Well, the death of this scallop hammerhead definitely highlights the need for a gillnet ban, Andrea. And all over the world, we're seeing where uh, sustainable uh, managed fisheries are moving away from this type of gear for the same reason, because there's such high bycatch rates. And it's not just sharks, it's dolphins, it's turtles, it's even manatees. Um, we've seen the regional extinction of the sawfish because of gill nets. So we certainly feel that this case highlights the need um, for a call made by fishermen. Uh, the Oceana in Belize campaign to ban gill nets started in 2009, but we have documents dating back to 1997 where fishermen have been writing the regulators saying, please, we see what the effects are of this gear, please ban this gear. And yet it's still an issue we're dealing with 15 years late, 18 years later. Why uh, do you, Oceana that is, and fishermen are still unable to get this ban in place? Like what's taking so long? Andrea, they, that's a $64,000 question uh, because everybody, and, and if you go on the Facebook thread of comments, you'll see that is the question that everybody is asking. Why is this gear still legal? Um, that is a question that needs to be posed to the fisheries department. Um, this, as I said, this call has uh, been out there long before Oceana, since 1997, and by the members of the fishing community. Uh, when I came on board last year, our campaign uh, was endorsed by the sports fishing community, who have seen in other um, parts of the region the collapse of economically important fisheries like bonefish, tarpon, uh, permit because of gill nets and where they're used. Um, sports fishing alone in this country contributes more than a hundred million dollars every year, employs more than 2,000 Belizeans. Um, commercial fishermen are saying that they see the decline, they see the, the, the smaller catches come up in the net, so they know, you know, what effect this is happening. But, you know, again, we don't know why there is this um, hesitation in in getting this gear banned. And while some may ask what's the significance of one shark, the species has been around for some 400 million years. But as Chanuna puts it in context, they may not be around for much longer. Um, in our generation, could be wiped out. I mean, extinction, that is that is what these creatures are, are facing. And yes, you're absolutely right, the scalloped hammerhead in specific, um, you know, within the last 30 years has seen a 95% decline in that species alone. So you look at this one shark and you just wonder, you know, you, you pray that this is not the last shark in this area, but it is a distinct possibility given what we're seeing in other parts of the world. And Belize cannot think that it is any different. Um, we, we, are, we are seriously faced with um, having to, to take up the lead that the fishermen have taken and we commend them for taking a stand against this this gear and really doing what we need to do to protect these species. This is not just about loving sharks or thinking they're cool. Sharks play a very important role in, in maintaining the balance of the environment. And if we think that it's gonna be okay, oh, nobody's gonna miss a couple of sharks, you know, they have very, very real ripple effects further down the food chain, the food chain that all of us depends on in terms of 
sources of food, jobs, you know, so this has very real implications and it needs to be taken as such. Oceana says it will continue to press for the Gillnet ban and promote responsible fishing. Reporting for News 5, I'm Andrea Paul.